Uh, Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. This is our 2012 Porsche 911 C2S. Um, it's a 2012 model, uh, so it's a 991 variant. Uh, no, it's not the 997 or the 996, as you can probably recognise by the, uh, the layout of the vehicle. Uh, what I want to talk about in this video is um, the start-stop activation. Um, I'm just going to start the engine here and show you what we've got on our vehicle. Uh, just forget about the uh, the brake and the airbag light for now. Uh, and I hope you can see because of the glare. Uh, but if you notice here, we've got start stop operation deactivated. And then on this side, we've also got this sort of um, dipped headlight or dipped fog light warning message or light. Um, now it's been like this for the past three days now. Um, we've only had the vehicle for two weeks, and the two weeks before that, everything was working absolutely spot on, absolutely fine. Um, but for the past sort of three days, three to four days, we've um, we've had a bit of a problem with the start stop. It's just not working at all. Uh, the car starts, fires, no problem. It drives absolutely perfectly. Um, no flaws. We we've got all the power we need. Um, but like I say, the start stop is not working now. I've spoken to the uh, the OPC, the official Porsche centre, this morning, uh, and he's basically told me that it could be sort of one of twenty things which is causing this issue. Um, one of the things that he mentioned was um, that if you do, if basically if, you, if, you, if your battery voltage is low, so if your battery's on the way out, it can affect the start-stop system. Um, if the battery's low, it doesn't really want to uh, use the start-stop in case it won't start again. Um, one of the other things he mentioned was if you do a lot of sort of short journeys, uh, so if you, if you maybe only use your Porsche to go to the shop once again here and there, uh, or you're only doing like journeys of a few minutes at a time in the car that will also um, sort of cause the voltage on the battery to be low and then it will stop this operation from working properly um, now we are going to get it booked in because we don't know what the issue is here uh, we do have a charger a battery charger so we're going to put that on charge um, and we're going to see if that works hopefully that will work if it doesn't work uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, sort of continue to get the car booked into the uh, the Porsche center um, but what I will do is I will put um, updates on this video in the comments box um, because I appreciate that I guess a lot of people will also have this in future and I guess you might be also a little bit confused about why this warning light is coming on uh, so the date now is what is it the 20, 20 I don't know 22nd of July I think 2016 um, so maybe you're watching this in a year's time hopefully if you have a look at the comments box below we'll put the uh, the resolution and the actual answer to this to why this is happening in that um, the comments box so I might put an annotation on the video as well um, so thanks for watching this video and we'll get to get to the bottom of this but hopefully those two steps which I've already told you about may help you uh, figure out why this start stop operation deactivated messages coming up on your Porsche